have you seen cool background videos like this like this or probably like it and you're actually wondering how much it will cost to have a nice setup like this on your videos but to be fair right now i'm here shooting on a green screen in my studio so this is me sitting right now on my studio on my green screen and what you saw before was not actually factual or real all right let's take it back all right you've seen videos like this before cool video background like this and probably you are wondering how much it will cost to have a good nice set of videos like this and probably sometimes it may hinder you from shooting that video content you want to shoot because your background setup is not giving or it's not actually the ideal thing you actually want for your videos to showcase or to look like all right so in today's youtube can do it video i'm going to show you how you can actually get any background videos you want and have that nice setups in your video within minutes that is to say there's no limit to what you can actually create so far you can think it or you can imagine it all right now at the end of this video i'm going to give you a bonus on how to take any background video whatever video it is you can still sorry to use that word you can actually use or get any background videos from any video and use it in your own video just like mine if you like mine i will show you how to steal it well let me use that word how to steal it how to get it and use it in your own video so that's just like a bonus all right so the first thing you have to do is to shoot yourself on a green screen or a blue screen whatever color you want to shoot yourself against but just make sure you're not wearing the same clothes as of your screen so that you can mask yourself out easily now you import your footage in premiere pro as you can see this is my footage here in premiere pro on a green screen the next you have to do go to effect panel then insert the word key in and then select ultra key drag it to your footage now you go to effect control then you will see on effect control color picker now tap on it and tap on the green screen now the color will change all right you already maxed out and your footage right now is actually blank well there are some adjustments you have to make if you want to but for me i use aggressive because as you can see right now it's not really that um, clean so i use aggressive now as you can see i think it's a lot better right now all right and you can also go to your setting if you want to change your transparency grid to uh, if you're not seeing well with black you can actually go to your settings now you can see your transparency grid click on it so that it can come out well so that i can actually see whether it's very very transparent as you can see right now now the next go to your browser now type in adobe firefly and click on get firefly free i've already signed in so you just have to sign in with your google account now it opens you'll see text to image generative fuel now we we'll use text to image because we want to generate the background with our words now you type in any prompt at all you want okay let's see um studio setup the best thing about this is because ai helps you to generate you know the picture you're going to use as your background you know because some of those um background you can actually find them online and sometimes it's very artistic when you're using um, the ai adobe firefly that's why they're very useful it'll give you some results now this results if you don't like it you can actually click it to generate more and that's how you get your picture now this is my the one i already got that's what i'm using for this um tutorial today so i import it to my um premiere pro now what i have to do i have to drag it underneath the footage which i have already on premiere pro and as you can see it with the transparency of the video now we're showing the picture at the background now what i have to do to make it more sleek go to my effect control panel now type in gashiam blur now i'll put in gashiam blur and drag it to my um background not the footage right now okay you go to effects panel then that's where you now put maybe 11 22 spare for this video yes 22 all right as you can see it right now it's all smooth and just good so that's it that's how to put any setup background 
on your videos and as i mentioned earlier that i'm going to give you a bonus on how to take or steal not steal or take any video setup from any video and make it your own video background now all you have to do right now is to if you like my background um, setup all you have to do right now is to screenshot it make sure the screenshot has good quality all right so but if you can't screenshot it where it has good quality you can do it on premiere pro what you have to do go to export frame here this is the icon then you export the particular frame of that video and you save it to your computer the next thing go to adobe firefly now instead of text to image we are using generative fuel for this so you upload the picture here the screenshot you've taken before and you have something like this now the next thing you have to do is you click on remove and as you can see my face is here so you start brushing or painting if you want to remove everything here not just my face if you want to remove my chair whatever thing you don't want on the video so the whole idea is to remove to max out the person or for anything in the background and make it rhyme together so that you just have only the background to use in your own video Now, I haven't done it, you click on remove. All you have to do is wait for it to analyze so that it can be able to uh, fill up the removed item from the screenshot. So that now you have like three to select from. You can actually choose this, or choose this, or choose this. So for me, I think I have to keep this. So as you can see right now, you have a full image for you to use on your background. And the next thing you have to do is click on download to download the image. Now you export it, after downloading, you export it to your project and you just do the same way as this and you have something like this. So that's it and that's how you can actually do this yourself. So you can go ahead and start creating changing background setups on your videos and whatever you think, you can actually do it, all right? Do help like and share this video so that people who are in need of this video can actually see it often and do follow me for more videos like this. And in case if you have any question or any ambiguities, you don't understand what I thought on this video, do make use of the comment section and I will answer you wherever need be, all right? So stay tuned and see more videos like this from me when you do follow me. See you on the next one.